I'm making a uh, tutorial on how to download the Genocide Randomizer mod. This is because no one actually understands how, well, a lot of people get confused, at least. I was confused, you might be confused, and you're looking for a tutorial, but no one has made one, unfortunately. For some stupid reason, no one thought that this was a confusing thing to do. So, if, so watch this quick tutorial if you want to know how. And, uh, consider liking and subscribing. So, the first thing you're gonna want to do is click this. A lot of people were saying the download doesn't work. Just click it again, like that. Just wait a second, ignore everything else. Just wait, you don't have to click any weird start ad. Just, just let it be. Now, it should appear in the top right if you're using Opera GX, I'm pretty sure. I feel like files normally appear in the bottom... I- I don't know. Double click this and there's a readme. So... This says all of the instructions, but it's kind of confusing, so... We're not gonna be doing it. Or listening to this. That's why you're gonna watch this. Then you're gonna need to go here. I'll put the link in the description. Now before we actually use this, what we're gonna need to do is go to your Steam copy of Undertale. Okay. Browse local files. Now you see, mine- I have this mod already, so it doesn't really matter. Just get rid of that. The Stelka Patcher, don't worry if it's not there, that's not important. Now all you need to do is take all of this. You need- you need it all. So just- Copy all the files. Don't worry about all of this other stuff. This stuff down here, those are just other mods that I had installed. Basically, all that means is that I can easily add mods. Don't worry about it if you don't have that. You shouldn't have that in the vanilla game, so it's not a big deal. Okay, next thing you're going to want to do is make a folder. Call this whatever you want. I'm going to call this Geno R. Take this and put it on your desktop. It might already be on your desktop. Open it up. There's nothing there. This is where you're going to want to put paste all of your Undertale stuff. Give it a second. It might take a little bit. But there is a file that we want to delete because I'm actually not sure, but you have to to make it work. It's this file right here get rid of it and now you're not completely good yet now after you've done that go here click on this um ignore this click show all files then go to your folder uh why is my folder empty okay now find the data.win file. Just click on that. Next you're gonna force calculate. That's what I did. And, and it just makes things easier. So I would do it. Or not. Up to you. But really quickly I'm gonna get to the general randomizer thing and uh, extract it. I mean, I don't- I would just- normally I just copy this file, go here, click on it, and click apply patch. Now this is gonna be here. You don't have to open that up or anything. You, at this point, you basically have the mod. So just- just copy this file right here. And now that you've done that, you can go back here. Paste it in, and get rid of this data.win. Actually, wait, hold on. I don't think that's exactly what you do, but... Now that you've done all that... Undertale EXE... Okay, yeah, yeah. Just click on that, and click open. 
then you're gonna wanna just if you want a random seed you can just use it like this or you can like enter a seed manually honestly I'm too lazy for that now for my streams I had this on so I encountered sands and undyne in places I shouldn't have now you can decide yes or no I'm gonna click yes now here's a seed if you want it guys I'm not gonna t test it out but um I'll just save it for later if anyone wants it. Now now that you've done that, you're done. You have a randomized Undertale. It's that simple, and I was confused about this for a very long time, so I hope this helped anyone who's confused, because I know I sure was. But real quickly, just want to show you guys something. Somebody explain to me why this is a, a sound in Undertale. Like, why sans date? Like, there was, there's never a sans date. So, um... If you have any questions, comment down below. If not, I, um... Uh, just subscribe. And that's all there is to it, but... The thing is, the best part is, if you want to delete the mod... It's as simple as that.